Alright guys, so what we got going on here is we're gonna take some uh, psilocybin cultures and basically just make more using honey water that I have already prepped. Everything's good to go. Um, I'm gonna pause this here in a second, um, do a few things around the house. Uh, this right here has been in the fridge for, oh, I want to say, let me see if I can get my camera, it's been in the fridge though for a cool minute, a few months, a really good culture in there, a bunch of sediment and stuff from the honey, but the culture should be just fine, none of that sediment or anything will have any effects whatsoever, so let's see if I can, just there we go. Yeah, a lot of that sediment in there from the honey, but so I can see if I can get the snot, as I like to call it. Yeah, and some of the jar has perspiration on it also, so that's not really helping get a good look at it. But I believe it's in there. Kind of see it. Uh, there's a lot of sediment in there, but eh, it is what it is. I used um, completely organic, unfiltered honey and pressure cooked it and. Basically right here I just used, uh, with these, which I'm going to be inoculating, um, I just used, uh, I have it written down, something like 250 milliliters of water, and I'm experimenting a little bit with uh, these jars. I have them marked on the lids, but one of them has a tablespoon, of, or, um, hold on, let me look. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, one tablespoon. One of them has one tablespoon of uh, the honey that I used, and uh, the other one has two tablespoons. So I'm just gonna try to see like what the limit is on the psilocybin doing that. Kind of uh, get a picture on what's too much nutrients, you know, and what is kind of undershooting it. I kind of like to undershoot it just to speed the process up. It gets the uh, mycelium kick-started when there's not enough nutrients because then they really, really go for it. If there's too much, sometimes they get lazy and it might take a little longer. So I'm going to go ahead and drink my beer and smoke a cigarette, let this here uh, warm up. It's still pretty cold. I don't want... I don't want the jar to have any perspiration whatsoever. I want it to be room temperature all the way through and to the touch. Because then I know the cultures in there have warmed up completely. And they should be completely active by that point. So this has been sitting out for about 40 minutes. Um, it's whatever. can't really remember what the batch was. It was some strange... I think it was like a Tasmanian or or uh, Ecuadorian, something like that. Can't really remember though. Kind of old. I was really lucky to get this culture. Um, I had some spores in a syringe and uh, I made three of these cultures and this is the one that survived. So those spores were obviously pretty damn old. So I'm gonna get these um, other cultures here, hopefully going in the next week and I'm just going to experiment a little bit with this one and see how well it's going to, you know, do its mushroom thing. So, hold on guys. <laughs> 